All right, so now it's time for 2.2, number 33, part C. We've already constructed our frequency distribution and relative frequency distribution. So we're going to construct a frequency histogram. Now a histogram is slightly different than a bar chart. It looks a lot like a bar chart, but it has some significant differences. So let's go make one. So I'm back to the data. Here's the distributions I made. And since I'm supposed to be making a frequency histogram, I'm going to highlight my frequencies right here. There they are. Now I'm going to go to Insert, Column, choose the top left. Everything's great, but this is awful. All right, so first thing I'm going to do is delete that legend, useless thing. Um, then let's go to the right, um, excuse me, the horizontal axis and right click down there on one of those numbers. Any of them will do. And we want to select data because these horizontal category axes make no sense whatsoever. I'm going to edit. Oh, I'm stuck with this again. Well, where I want to edit is E2 colon E9. I can tell it's E9 even without being able to see it. And the reason is, look over here to the left. You see how those are yellow? That's because those are what's being selected to make the graph in the first place. So I know it has to go to E2 to E9, even though I can't see it with my mouse. Of course, you can always just move the graph out of the way, cancel out of here and move it. Anyway, this is great. Yep, those are the labels I want. OK. That's why I had to clean up that frequency chart in part two of the tutorial. Let's move it down a little bit so we can see it nice and clearly. There we go. The purple box is the labels. The blue box is the frequencies. All is well. Now we need some titles here and we need some other things. So let's go to layout. Let's add a title above the chart. Frequency histogram of what the heck is this data anyway? Disposable income in 2006. Cool. Of there we are. We're still in there in the formula bar. Disposable income in 2006 U.S. technically. There we go. Beautiful. Now before I head off of there, let's see, I want to put in some axis labels. So let's get the vertical axis. I like the rotated. That's just me. This is frequency over here. Number also works, or number of. And then I'm going to add the Actually, I'm not going to add a horizontal axis label. I think it's pretty obvious what that is. But there's one thing I must do. I must make it so there's no gaps here. See, this number is 26,999 for the upper class limit here. This one's 27,000. Those are supposed to be right next to each other. There's not supposed to be a ginormous gap in between the two. Ugh. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click on any one of those blue bars. And you want to format your data series. There we are. Series options. See this? Gap width. It's at 150% right now. We're going to click on this and drag it to the left and make it zero. We want no gap width whatsoever. Close. There you go. Now I'm showing there's no distance in between this because really this is 26,999.9999999. It's supposed to go on forever and if you make it so that there's gaps in there you're implying that there's somebody's disposable income that isn't in this graph and that's not the case. Um, if you want to add borders you can do that too. Some people don't like the fact that it's all blue. So right click again. Oops, don't click on just one guy. See that's just got one guy, one guy highlighted. See the little box. Let me click off of that and click back on. Right click there. Now they're all highlighted. Go to format data series again. And you can add a border if you like. I'll add a solid line border and I'm going to make it black. It was blue before. There we go. And let's close it. There we go. Now you got a little bit of a border going on. You can see the bars. You don't have to do that part if you don't want to, but you have to make it so that there's no gaps in here. Gaps in bar charts are okay because bar charts don't have any important number values. Values, excuse me. But histograms, you can't have any gaps because there's supposed to be no space in between these two. All right, we're done with that histogram. That's that part done.